Okay, to put the bolt in the transport position, pushing down on the bolt and the charging handle and pulling to the rear. And then we're gonna insert the mid-lock pin into the hole provided for us on the bolt carrier. And that captures the bolt and keeps it safe for transportation. The bipod legs, once again, just pull down, rotate them back, and the lower receiver is now ready for transport. On the upper receiver, we now have to get this locking key out of the recess in the barrel. And as you can see, there's not a lot of meat on there uh, to get your fingers on to pull that out. And it's especially difficult when it's greasy. Uh, what we found out from uh, our customers in Norway, where they realized that you can actually access this through the third cooling slot from the, from the back end of the rifle. The way you do this is take your fingers on either side and press up from underneath until you hear the, uh, the spring make a sproing. There you go, sproing. Now there's enough of it out that you can actually grab it with your fingers and being very careful to main maintain control of it, ease that forward. We then slide the battery bumper into the transport position. Carefully just slide the barrel back into the receiver. You don't want to slam the, the barrel back down uh, fast because the muzzle brake impacting on the front of the receiver is what we call a bad thing. Okay, and that's basically all you need to do to get your Barrett rifle ready to fit back in the case. cleaning from the breech end, which is the back end of the barrel. Uh, you never want to uh, clean a precision rifle from the front. The cleaning rod could actually damage the rifling, the lands and grooves, which would negatively impact your accuracy. So always clean your Barrett rifle from the back end. Other cleaning lubrication, you're going to take the bolt and bolt carrier out of the gun. Once we've done this, you can actually access the fire control group trigger and, and the other associated parts for cleaning. In most cases, all you need to do is blast that out with some gun scrubber or some brake cleaner, maybe a little compressed air. Uh, no need to typically take that apart for uh, the average user. Okay, here's the heart of the rifle. It's basically the, uh, the bolt and bolt carrier assembly. We're going to take it apart a little bit. We're not going to tear it down completely. Uh, just enough to show you what you need to do for basic uh, cleaning and lubrication. Uh, you can see how the bolt actually travels back and forth in the bolt carrier. It actually rotates as it cams back and forth. That's what you want to see when it's all back together. In order to take the bolt out of the bolt carrier, there's two things that you need to do. You need to depress this catch right here uh, using your, your rear lock pin. Uh, that comes in very handy for that. Uh, you can use your finger, you can use a, a punch. At the same time, on the other side, uh, there's this one pin that's retained by this long spring here that needs to be pulled out. And a punch comes in very handy for that. So doing that, there we go. Bolt, bolt carrier. Okay, once again, you wanna hit this maybe with a wire brush, uh, some brake cleaner, some gun scrubber, clean out the cam pin slot, Clean out the bolt face. That's all you typically need to do for general cleaning and maintenance on the M82 or M107 bolts. Uh, if you want to take down the bolt carry a little more, this accelerator and rod right here, you can just pop out the accelerator from the one side, and then the accelerator rod drops right out. Now, as far as reassembling it, there's only one way the rod will fit back in the carrier, so there's no way to do that backwards. Just Okay, reassembly is the exact opposite. Just want to make sure that the, the, the cam pin slots here line up with the cam pin. And to get it started, once again to press the catch. And then we have to pull up on the cam pin itself. And 
the whole thing goes back together. Okay, once again, a test function. Take your rear lock pin, push down on the catch, and finger pressure, the bolt should rotate and, and depress in and out without binding or catching on anything. Just place it flat into the receiver, lower receiver. As I mentioned before, you want to push down while pulling back. Uh, the reason I mention that is <clears throat> uh, if you're just pulling on the charging handle up front, uh, what might tend to happen is you might lift the front somewhat, ever so slightly, and you can bend these tabs right here, which retain the buffer, and that's going to cause some other problems. So you always want to maintain downward pressure while you're pulling to the rear. And we'll just take our mid-lock pin once again and lock the bolt carrier for transport. And there you have your basic assembly, disassembly, and maintenance procedures for the Model 82A1 and the M107 rifle.